Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Cat Lady. This is your boy Calico Gaming, and you know how we do things around here. If you missed last episode, go and peep it, because if not, this part with Dr. X is not gonna make any sense. Basically, he's trying to pick our brains to see what's wrong with us. So maybe you haven't missed much. But there are other scenes, damn it! So go ahead and peep it. I want to wait! No, fuck it. I want to talk to This him. isn't all about whether you're nuts or not, like we said before. It's about finding what has caused how you're feeling now and creating a working solution. In order to achieve that, I need to get to know you better. Can we talk about your childhood first? Your parents. When you're a child, your life revolves around them. What was your father like? Did you have a good relationship with him? I had a great dad. Yeah. I had a great dad. I have very fond memories of my father. He was always there for me, no matter what I did. He never got angry or upset. I suppose I never really gave him any reasons to be. I was a good child. Not perfect. But then again, no one's perfect. Whatever made me try to kill myself, it definitely has nothing to do with him. Where is he now? He died six years ago. Cancer. Do you miss him? Of course I miss him! How can you even ask me that? It's my job to ask these questions, Susan. Let's talk about your mother now. What was she like? Would you care to tell me about her? I had a wonderful mum. I can't complain. My mum was great. She brought me up well. Me and her. We were like best friends. Like soulmates. We did everything together. She passed away seven years ago. When Dad first got diagnosed with cancer, it was too much for her. He kept pretending he was fine, but she just couldn't take it. Her heart gave up. She died quickly. My father kept fighting it. Another eight months of illness and intensive chemo finally beat him, though. He thought he was unbeatable, but he wasn't. Okay, I'm beginning to get a better picture. That's enough about your parents for now. Let's take two minutes, and we will talk about something else. I need to get out of this place. I hate hospitals. Besides, I really want to go home and forget all about this. Alright, let's see what we got here. Last time we were here... It took us forever and a day to get out. I don't really want to sleep here. I'm not tired anyway. So, get up. Just looking at this pillow makes me wonder how many people have died with their heads on it. I'm sure it's been washed many times since then, but it still sends a chill down my spine. Wait! I did die for a moment, didn't I? And I missed a line of dialogue, didn't I? Gotta do it again. There it is. Come to think about it, I nearly died here myself. There is nothing interesting under the pillow, but there is something there that you deem not interesting. The needles are stuck at 10.08. God damn it! It's probably broken, or maybe it just needs new batteries. Gloves rack. It's full of latex gloves, three different sizes. We're gonna take one glove. And a whole batch of gloves. We might need these. Alright, so this part right here took fucking forever. It's a list of drugs for patient inside room 2. I guess that's me then. I'm on a lot of sedatives it appears. The stuff they're giving me could knock a horse out, and give it a headache for a week too. It could also cause hallucinations and paranoia. How bizarre. Why would they want to give me all that? I'm not crazy, I know that for sure. If anyone's crazy here, it's someone who put me on all this medication for no good goddamn medical reason. It's a bunch of chrysanthemum. What? It's a bunch of chrys chrysanthemums? Chrysanthemums? I bet I had problem with this on the co-op version. I hate flowers. Well, fuck it then. Don't even have to. No way I'm taking them. I fucking hate them, mate. 
Yes, fine. We get it. Examine. Side room two. I thought mine was side room two. According to this, her name is Anne Burton, 35 years of age. She's taken a lot of sedatives and has a long history of drug abuse. It seems that on top of it all, she's taken methadone for heroin withdrawal syndrome. At the bottom of the page, there's a note saying she's actually a private patient who's staying here out of her own free will. Lucky lady. I guess it won't be so easy for me to leave the ward. So if I were to enter your place... Sink. I'm gonna turn that water, hot water on. Because why not? 11.40. A theory that we had about this place... Does the clock show the time of death for the patients here? I don't want to lie down. Exactly. Dirty looking pillow. There is nothing interesting under the pillow. So I shall be leaving this place now. Okay, so what else do we have in here? It's a toilet door. There's someone inside. Hello. I guess I should wait my turn. I guess so. Hello. Look at. I bet she thinks those red rimmed glasses make her look attractive. I know her kind all too well. Completely dedicated to her job, yet totally brainless and close minded. Judgmental much. Uh, could I make a phone call please? Can I make a phone call please? Oh, yes, of course. But the phone's being used at the moment. Can you please come back in five minutes? You only have one phone. Thanks. Okay, so how about we try this again? Can I go home now? Or I feel much better now. Could you please discharge me? I feel much better now. Can you please discharge me? I'm glad to hear that. But I can't discharge you until Dr. X sees you. He should be doing his round very soon. Please return to your bed and wait for him, alright? Okay, so let's try this a third time then. Can I go home now? I'd like to go home now. Well, so would I. But there are procedures and a system in place. I can't just let you go like that. What? Hmm. <laughs> Look, I'm very busy at the moment. I'll come and talk to you in a minute, alright? Speaking of that, what the fuck are you actually doing? Is Liz here? Is Liz here? And who's Liz? That young nurse who was here last night. Black hair, very chatty. She said her name was Liz. Uh, I'm sorry, a lot of people come through here. I can't remember everyone's name. Can you return to your bed now, please? It's nearly time for your medication. I can't be chasing around after every single patient. Beg your pardon? Look. I'm very busy at the moment. I'll come and talk to you in a minute, all right? It's a discharge letter for Anne Burton, currently a patient in side room one. It seems she has admitted herself into the hospital and is allowed to leave whenever she wishes. Please do not touch these. They are all confidential documents. Yeah? Well, maybe you shouldn't leave them out on the desk for everyone to see. If you Basically. are looking for something to read, we have some magazines for patients here. Thanks, but I think I'll pass. What else you got? Folders? These must be patient files. They are piled up on the desk. Please do not touch these. They are all confidential. Gotcha. I was only going to tidy up. I'm sorry. Are you one of the housekeepers? Why did you dress up as a patient? I just can't stand mess, that's all. And there's no need to be sarcastic. Who's being sarcastic? Yo, mother. Oh, hi. Hello. Uh, let me through, please. I'm going home. Let me through. I'm going home. Can I see the discharge letter first? If you haven't been discharged by the doctors, I'm afraid I can't let you through. You have no right. I am a free person, and I'll do what I want. I'm not staying here a minute longer. I'll have to see the letter first. May I ask what your name is? It's, uh... It's, uh, I'll come back later. I'll come back later. Please do, Mum. We'll be right here. Don't call me Mum. So.
This must be patient from side room too. God, doesn't she look confused? Hey! Another suicidal patient. Strange, she looks like someone I know. Hi, are you alright? Can we talk for a minute? I can't talk. Please, just leave me alone. Oh, I mean you no harm. I'm trapped here, just like you. Trapped? I don't know. It's just so hard to think without it. But you're a stranger. And you're not one of those lovely nurses either. They look after me so well. I trust the nurses like I trusted my mother. I just want to talk. I need your help. Unless it's mother who sent you. Was it her? Please tell me it was her. It was her. Um, yeah, sure. I'm a good friend of your mother. I miss her so much. I can't remember you very well. But you should know this. If you really are a friend, you will know my mother's name. The name that haunts me. A beautiful name. Yeah, this yeah, should. Yeah, sure I do. Now, let me ask you. What is it? Oh, well... What is my mother's name? Hmm... Uh... This shit took forever and a fucking day. Basically, none of these. I don't know. No, of course you don't. Leave me alone. Please, just leave me alone. Fine, I'll just use the bathroom then. If you don't mind. So. Ah, uh, there you go. What we got here is... It looks like it hasn't been emptied for a while. There are lots of discarded medication pots in there. Among other gross stuff. I'll take one of these medication pots. Note. Read. Please stop reading messages on the mirror. While we are currently experiencing difficulties maintaining the high level of cleanliness due to... Sudden absence of our cle cleaning staff. We ask all patients to be considerate and help us keep the ward tidy. Mirror. I can't look at myself. The mirror is cracked. A large shard of glass is lying on the side. Take the glass shard. If they find it on me, they'll think I'm a complete psycho. But it might be useful too. I'll risk it for a biscuit. No. Sink. Hot water. Toilets. Look at it. It's rather filthy. Um, i gonna flush it. Gonna use it. The lid is down. Open the lid. Now use it. I've been dying for a wee ever since I woke up. Shove these gloves in there as well. Oh, after I used it, fam. Go flush it. That's nasty. That's fucking nasty. Eel. E I L. Someone is coming. Is it winter? Have you rang the bell? Is there an emergency? Yes. The toilet's blocked. What? Ah, oh, well, that's hardly an emergency. It is when you need to use it urgently, like I do. I see. Fine, I'll sort it out. Just give me a minute. Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, it's the gloves. Again! I guess I'll have to get my hands dirty since the cleaner's called in sick. <laughs> Shank her. I guess I'll just mosey on out of here. Gotta go. Alright then. Yup. Moving on up. Moving on up in the world. Gotta 
Take that right there. Yes, that's exactly what I need to go home. Got it. And the folders, I'll take them too. Okay. So, uh, hello? You gonna drug me? It wasn't you who did it, was it? No, it I wasn't me. I don't know what you're talking about. Someone just stuck a bunch of... Well, I guess it doesn't matter. It's sorted now. I just hope it's the last time I put my hands in that stinking toilet. Mm-hmm. So... Get in there again. What do you mean? I'm well, she didn't even turn off the. Anyway, listen. What? Are you sure? The faucet's on me. Someone is coming. This didn't happen last time. I wasn't... We didn't try to leave and get the papers. Have you rang the bell? Is there an emergency? Yes. It's just that... Uh... I, uh, want to remind you that I'm ready to go home. I just wanted to remind you that I'm ready to go home. Oh, is that so? Yes. Well, guess what? I haven't forgotten. It takes time. I could lose my job if I don't follow the correct procedures. Why do I bother? I think it's time we give you some medication. Can you please tell me your name and your date of birth? Uh, it's Susan Ashworth, I will have you know. Susan Ashworth, 24th of May, 1970. I'm just going to check your name band now to confirm that. Mm-hmm. That's fine. As long as you don't That's find fine. the... I'd like you to drink this liquid, please. It will help you relax. It so will help you relax. Sure. So you don't... You didn't see the shot of glass or the discharge paper. That's good. I'm gonna take the drugs. That's a good girl. Now, drink it down. You'll feel much better. If you don't, they will come in and... The guards will come in and force you to take the drugs, so... Just save you a couple now, of seconds there. Go back to your room and rest. You'll be able to relax and have a great sleep. Mm-hmm. Why? What the fuck? That's supposed to say Sheila? It doesn't? I hope it fucking works. I don't want to do this dream segment again. Oh, it's a little bit different here now. Door. Enter. What's going on here? That's a lever. Can I... I don't want to lay down. Narcotic heart. So... So hard to concentrate. Is this thing... Filled with drugs? Well, allow me to use this glass shard. And then this medication pot. So it's filled now. Yep. Alright. I'm done here. Nothing out of the ordinary here. No siree, Bob. Enter. Just go to bed. You know? Just go to bed. But the pillow was on the other side, you fucking weirdo. Alright, so here we are. We have the medication pot filled with- The drugs have worn off and drug blood. I feel better now. But I can't let them do that to me again. I need to get out of here. Hopefully the game lets me answer correctly here. Talk to. 
If you really are a friend, you will know my mother's name. The name that haunts me. A beautiful name. Yeah. But I know it. Sheila. Cool. Sheila. Yes. It was my mother who sent you, after all. I'm mm -hmm. sorry I didn't believe you. No problem. But my head's all messed up. So, let's have a little chat, sweetheart. Um... Do you know... Or there's something wrong with this place, isn't there? Something's wrong with this place. I think it's really nice here. Oh, you do? We must stay here. Do what they say. Take pills they give us. Sure. Sometimes, if I behave, they give me the red stuff. You like the red I stuff, don't you? It. I'm being good. Mm-hmm. What is this red stuff? It's a drug. My favorite one. Red stuff takes the pain away. I must stay here. Good nurses have been most kind. They always remember. They know I'm suffering. But it is not the same as the drugs I see in my dreams. On the other side of the mirror, there's a spider's heart full of drugs. I just can't seem to find it anymore. I see. So, um... Feel like sharing? What's your name? Feel like sharing? What's your name? There is nothing to share. Everyone died. Everyone. And my All treats, right. my red stuff, it's not the same. I keep lying to myself. I'm a mean little liar. Always have been. This vein, you see, it goes straight to my heart. Right. That's why it hurts so much. I wish I could. Just one more time. That's what they all say. But it's all lost now. Everything. I was always happy to settle for a consolation prize, you know? So, uh, what exactly is this little treat you mentioned? What exactly is this little treat you mentioned? It's the red teardrop of pure happiness. They bring it. I drink it down. And my pain goes away. Without it, I just feel so angry. It's like I'm going crazy. <laughs> it's funny, but I just get so fucking angry sometimes. Okay. Sure. I'm dying, I think. We're all dying, I heard. She said I'd go to hell for it. But I didn't do anything. I didn't know. Didn't Does know he what? know? Who? Who? Him! Fuck you! Right. <laughs> okay. No, probably not. I need the red medicine. I need it now. I must be a good girl. I must be a nice girl. Maybe I could get you some of that stuff. Do you know where they keep it? Oh, they have it hidden well. You can't get there. Or I'm maybe up. you can. I've already been there, mate. I see it in my dreams sometimes. It's where the nurses are. But in my dream, there are no nurses there. I see it, but I can't get it. It's so near, and yet so far. I can still hear the broken heartbeat of the spider's heart. Mm-hmm. So how about we, we swap our name bands? How about that? How about we swap our name bands? Oh yeah, I don't mind. Good. But that would be like a favor to you, yeah? Exactly. Well, technically you wouldn't lose anything because I'd give you my name band instead. Does that make any sense? Sure, yeah. I do want something better in return though. I'm not that stupid. I know you'll use it to get out of here. Oh, I never said you're stupid. I... I just really want to go home. Please understand. That's fine. I don't mind. I'll give it to you if you get me the red stuff. What do you say? I thought nurses give it to you anyway. No, not that. I'm talking about the real thing. Something you can only get in the world of dreams. Now that is something special. Sure. Is it safe? It's perfectly safe. Sounds like a fair trade. Um, okay. I'll see what I can do. 
So about these, uh, what the fuck? Oh, I'll talk to you later, I'll yeah? I'll talk to you later, yeah? Yes, they're watching us. Yes. And remember, yes. we must be nice. It's always be nice. Always be nice, got you. Poor woman. So listen, I got you your red stuff. Yeah, wait. I got you your red stuff. You want it? I'll drink it in front of your face. <laughs> you want this? I've found the thing you asked me for, but are you absolutely certain? Are you it won't absolutely harm you? certain you Don't care? Don't be silly. Of course it won't. Fine. I hope you know what you're doing. Can I have your name band now, please? Yes. No matter what they say, I do keep my promises. Great. What do they? You know what? It doesn't matter. Thank you for your help. So that took us forever and a day, or at like two hours, or like one hour <laughs> to figure out. So, here's what I'm gonna do. So firm! Sorry, ma'am, can't let you through. We'll need what? to see a discharge letter from your doctor first. Here. Are you happy now? Yes, that seems fine. Good. Can I just check your name band to confirm that you are indeed Anne Burton? Sure. Oh, all right. I didn't realize you knew how to read. There you go. Can I go now? Of course. Thank you, Mum. Nice. We'll see you soon. No, you won't. No, you won't. Now get out of my way. So, everything past this point is uncharted fucking territory for me, so... You better believe, I'm saving my game. Save it as... Too solo. What do we have here? It's a storage room door. It won't budge. It's a door to some office. It won't budge. Time ward, maternity ward, exit. Ah, hey, hi, how you doing? And you must be Susan Ashworth. I'm not, check my um, name tag. Well, perhaps I am. Do you mind if I ask you where you're heading to? I Bathroom. was just going for a little walk, stretch my legs, get some fresh air. That's a yikes. Give it a rest. I'm not going anywhere. Miss Ashworth, please relax. There's been a mistake. You have been prescribed wrong medication. I apologize sincerely on behalf of my team and the hospital. But luckily, we managed to spot it on time. On time? You have no idea what I've been through? Once again, I'm truly sorry. I promise no more drugs will be given to you. I personally guarantee you will have a good, peaceful sleep tonight. And you can be discharged in the morning. Mm -hmm. Why can't I go tonight? I want to go now! I'm really sorry, but we can't legally discharge suicidal patients without a full psychiatric assessment. It's too late for it now, but I promise we'll have a chat in my office first thing in the morning, okay? And then you can go home. Is that all right? Not really. Let's have a talk now. I haven't really got much choice, have I? Now I'd like to ask you some questions about your life, Susan. You might find them very personal, but it's important that you answer me as honestly as possible. Fine. Let's get it over with then, shall we? I'd like to go home at last. Of course, I understand. So, Susan, let's see. Are you living alone at the moment? No. I don't. I'm living with teacup. Why is that not an answer here? I guess I live on my own and it suits me just fine. I live on my own and it suits me just fine. I don't need anyone. People mostly bore me. Sometimes they annoy me or upset me. I'm happy with how things are at the moment. 
I have my little bit of space, and it's my own. It's private. I'd like to keep it that way. What do you do for a living? Um, I'm, I'm between jobs at the moment, if you must know. I'm between jobs at the moment. I'll find something soon. But it's been difficult. I didn't feel that great. I felt weak and powerless and You're talking tired too much. most of the time. I felt really awfully tired. Typical depression symptoms. We can give you something for that. You'll feel stronger and motivated. I admire your faith in modern medication, Doctor. I hope you're right. Describe to me what your mornings look like. What is the first thing you do each day? Well... I go to the toilet, doesn't everyone? I go to the toilet, doesn't everyone? Fair enough. What is the next thing you do then? Oh, I don't know. I just muddle through, I guess. Don't think there's any routine to it. It depends how I feel that day. Would you say that you feel safer at home than outside? Mm, not really. But <laughs> I don't feel that safe at all. You know what? Yeah, I suppose. I... yeah, I suppose. It's not really about safety. I've just felt sad for a long time now. Really sad, you know? Somehow it brings me down even more when I go out and see all those happy, successful people. It makes me feel more like a failure. If I don't see it, it doesn't hurt that much. What do you think is missing in your life? Or rather, what is one thing that you think would make your life better? It would be nice to have some more money, I guess. A good friend, someone I could really trust. I know it's silly, but I wish I was better looking. Something to fight for, you know, a reason to go on. Hmm. Well, all of these just dig me deeper into the hole. I mean, I could go with money. Yeah, I could go with money. That would give you nothing to work with, Doc. It would be nice to have more money, I guess. Sure, of course. Don't we all? Have you ever attended group therapy for depression? Or some other form of counseling. Uh, no, it didn't help much, as you can see. Yes, it didn't help much, as you can see. Just something to think about. I can see you're really willing to open up and talk about your issues. That's a positive sign. I... I haven't really talked about my feelings for a long time. Can I go now? You're doing very well so far. Do you have problems sleeping? None. Rarely. I sleep well most nights. If anything, I probably sleep too much. Would you describe for me how you feel at the moment? I feel fine now, at the moment. I feel fine now. I feel like I want to change my life for the better. Not really sure how yet. But I really want to try. Do you find it hard to concentrate? I mean, sometimes, but not currently. No, not really. Do you drink alcohol, Susan? If there's a party. Only sometimes. I'd suggest you don't consume any alcohol at all for a while. Am I Does pregnant, Doctor? Does that sound doctor? like something you can do? Yeah, sure. I'm not a big drinker anyway. Sometimes, when life gets too much and people feel sad or upset, they think about suicide. Do you often think about suicide? No, of course not. I don't know what got into me. No, of course not. I don't know what got into me. It's hard to explain why I did it. I must have thought there was no other options left. But I never used to think about it, or plan it. It just... happened. As if I'd suddenly lost control. I knew what I was doing was wrong, 
and yet I was unable to stop it. Strange, isn't it? Please, in your own words, try to explain to me why did you really try to take your own life, Susan? It was a sudden impulse, I'm ashamed of it now. Nothing was making me feel happy anymore. I want to show everyone how hurt I was deep inside. Hmm. Well. I guess it was just a sudden impulse. I'm ashamed of it now. It was just a sudden impulse. I'm ashamed of it now. I had a really rotten day, you know? I felt like I was suffocating between the four walls of my bedroom. It just would get worse and worse. By the afternoon, I realized I cried for the past three hours. I... I didn't even know I'd been crying until I went to the bathroom and saw my face in the mirror. I looked like a ghost. I looked like I was dead already, you know? And then I saw the sleeping pills. I thought, why not? And I did it. Do you feel as if you're a burden? Or that life isn't worth living? Not anymore. Not anymore. It's strange. But I feel lighter. I feel stronger. Besides, I live alone. Who could I be a burden to? What makes you feel better? My cats. Teapot. My cats. I always put out a bowl of food for the stray cats. They're ever so grateful. I like their company. What makes you feel worse? Um... It's hard to say. It could be anything. It's hard to say. It could be anything. Sometimes it could be just little things. The way my hair looks. Shoes I can't find. When I run out of milk. I get angry with myself for being clumsy. For not being able to cheer up and just get on with things. Like everyone else. Have you imagined your funeral? And how people will react to your death? Hmm... Probably nobody would come anyway. Probably nobody would come anyway. Can you imagine it? Now that's a sad picture. Loved by no one. Missed only by some... Cats. No tears shed for me. No flowers on my grave. But that's okay. I never liked flowers. I wouldn't miss that. Finally, I'd like you to tell me about Eric. Who the fuck Eric? is Eric? Yes, your husband. I believe this might be important. What can you tell me about your relationship? What had happened between you two? Um... Holy shit, this is where it derails, isn't it? This has nothing to do with him. Can I go home now, please? There was nothing to talk about. It's getting late. Can we talk about it some other time? It's getting late? Can we talk about it some other time? Hmm. Fine. I suppose you've opened enough for one day. Okay, one more question. For fuck's this sake! This is just a formality. But I have to ask, are you going to do it again? That's a hard one. I don't know. But, hey! I've got it! The answer is, no, I'm not. Thank you very much. Hmm. Excellent. We are nearly done here. No, you said that There's was the There's just one more thing I must clear with you. Fuck's sake. What exactly happened last night? Well, after I'd met you outside the ward yesterday, I went back to my room and fell asleep. I slept really well, considering what happened earlier. Then someone woke me up. It was the same nurse who was so friendly with me the first night. She said we needed to talk. We must go, Susan. You are not safe here. But... Excuse please, me? You must follow me. Quickly. When the fuck did that happen? Oh! Oh, oh alright. But we're gonna save that for next episode. I hope y'all enjoyed this one. I'm out of here. Love y'all and deuces.